Yeah, well, you know, my mum was a, a single parent. She's got five kids that was all living in the same house. So at first I was I just loved football so I was yeah. basically just just playing just for fun. No, Even if nobody got paid or it wasn't on TV, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you didn't get famous from it. Like I'd still go out and play with yeah. my friends regardless. And I I was always one to try and get especially schoolwork because I didn't really enjoy it. I wanted to get it done um, oh, no. as soon as possible. And because you're being taken out of school to mm -hmm. play football and you're behind in school, so you have to go back and do more hours. It was How old were you when you started it? We was at a different building in Salford and then you come here when you're 11. Yeah, when you're 11. Yeah. You know, she made that decision when I was 11 years old um, and United allowed it, so... Um, tell me why you've written the letter that you've written, how important it is to you. It obviously has a huge importance for me, um, probably on a personal level because, um, you know, what families are going through now, I want had to go through that. Um, same system and it's very difficult to, to find a way out but um, now that I'm in this position that I'm in it's, it's very important for me to, to help the people that are struggling and things could have been really different for you couldn't they yeah yeah definitely um, you know 45% of, of people like me and um, black people people in different ethnic minorities and um, you know they're living in poverty and, and you know I was I was very close to, to being one of that 45%, so I understand that it could have went either way for me, and you know, I'm grateful that it went this way for me, but it doesn't make me forget about what happened in the past, and you know, I obviously want to help them people and as much as I can, and um, I know that I've done the right thing in, in trying to help, help these people, so. Obviously you've got a perfect example now of, of Marcus and the things that he's doing on the football pitch this morning time is, is a real credit to him and the academy for, for how he's been brought through at, at so, such a young age. What he keeps doing here with Dean Bear is, is always inspirational. He keeps wanting to work and strive to be a better player, a better person, so all credit to him. Um, and I think that's important because you grow as, as a person and as, as an individual. For me, if you find what works for you in terms of improvement as a young player, then you know you can you can go as far as you want. But you're doing really well. I mean, the thing is, when you're growing up, football's your thing. It's your passion. Yeah. Your total drive and commitment goes to to that, yeah. doesn't it? So, there's al there's always a big element of, of sacrifice to to try and get to the top level. And yeah, of course. Um, but I also understood. Um, maybe it was just part of me growing up. I I, I just knew how hard that my mum was working. Anyway, so, you know, I'd never moan, I'd never do anything. If... And how much is this, the stuff of dreams, what you've worked for, coming through the academy? It's crazy, you can't really, you can't explain it when you're out there, it's just a rush of blood, everything. And Michael, what is it given the whole club, these youngsters, coming through and supporting? It's just a real breath of fresh air, I think, now. To be on this wall, what does that mean? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a proud, it gives me a proud feeling um, that they put you in that sort of, that sort of light. Um, but. This this building's about letting the kids know that it's you know it's possible. On the pitch, we just make sure that we're we're working hard and we're improving because nine times out of ten, if you're improving, you you'll be a picking up point. So do, do you feel your game is improving? Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Um, is it sometimes difficult, given the fact that you are still so young, that people can be so possibly critical and expectant. This club especially, they, they train you to, to deal with that expectation because they always say from when you're a kid, everybody wants to beat Man United. You know, if they beat Man United, it'll be sort of the highlight of the season. You know, you know everybody wants to beat you, but how much do you want to beat everyone else? And Is it difficult being a Manchester United player and dealing with the expectation and the enormous pressure that comes with being with an enormous football club? I think when you when you sign for the club, that's what you sign up to. Nine times out of ten players understand that because it's not, it's not a normal club and it never will be, so the pressure's always going to be there. But for me, it's how you, how you deal with it.
superstar now doing the business for Man United, but what, what does it feel like when you come back here? The main message I always get from revisiting old places, old houses, old schools is just remembering who you are and where you, where you come from. And obviously I have a lot of friends from around this area and we used to come here pretty much daily. Um, you know, we'd be here for hours, so to come back here it gives you them good memories, but at the same time, it, it puts it into place. What, so after your debut, yeah, a couple of you weeks still went to the soccer dome? Yeah. So two yeah. weeks before you had no crowd and then... Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. And, but that was the last time I, last time I went. And... You know, it was a shock playing midweek as well because Martial was meant to be starting and then coming in, but that kind of benefited me because I wasn't thinking of, thinking about the game too much. Smith is bouncing around Matter to cut it back again, and Rashford has got the dream goal that he was looking for in his debut, and one he will never, ever forget. Does it again? What a story! The fairy tale goes on. Um, this is my first game in the Premier League, so obviously it's been amazing, and to score two, it's just a bonus. So hopefully we can just carry it on and then go again next game. Rashford, he's in here. He scores. Marcus Rashford takes yet another step up the ladder. Here's Rashford, found by Martial. Rashford, lovely feet, brilliant goal! Oh, that is a wonderful goal from a quite superb emerging Manchester United talent, Marcus Rashford. Mentally, I wasn't 100% sure um, about the like my physical capability, um, which was playing and different positions but and I think that's what's that's what's happening now whether I'm on the right on the left or down the middle. Do you think it's a problem for Mourinho the fact that he wasn't a top class player? Do you, I mean obviously he's an unbelievably yeah. successful manager. For me I think just when a manager's played they've lived the they've sort of lived the lifestyle that we've lived and they might be a bit more understanding. It's gonna fall here for Rashford and then Rashford still oh! Marcus Rashford, it's a good hit, oh what a goal! That is a fantastic... Yeah. Rashford is in behind David Luiz and taxi past Begovic. Marcus Rashford on the break. Oh, this kid's got something special. Rooney gets away from El Mahamedy and he slides away! Yeah. I swear I'll sell the whole lot of them, mate. Sell the whole lot of them, mate. Absolutely bottle as they are. Lily Rashford, mate. Don't get me started on this kid, yeah? Fucking sell this kid. He's absolutely washed up. 200 bags a week, you're telling me, yeah? And my man can't do the simple things. Running in behind. Holding up the ball, yeah? You know what I mean? Making symbol runs, yeah? This guy cannot do none of it, yeah? And he's asking for 200 bags a week. Fuck off, mate. Absolutely. Get out of this football club, mate. What that do you do to, like, times, chill and just get away from um, it? It's, it's harder now for, yeah, for players because yeah. of camera phones, social yeah, media yeah, and stuff like that from when I was, when I was um, growing up. I, we just have, like, little, 
little hobbies. Like I have two dogs, and, but my mates love dogs as well, so sometimes we just go out with the dogs and play football in the garden. Or... Are you the type of person that will go home and think about the ones that you miss then? Um, for me, it's just about recognising it and you know trying to correct it uh, in the next game or in the next situation. Like obviously, I'm, I'm very self-critical and that's my way of, of, of improving. But... Rashford! Of the standing one up, and Rashford waited and scores. Goal stunning quality from Marcus Rashford. He's deserved that. It'll mean the world to him. His first and all driver this season. Absolutely fantastic. Fearless. The kid is, he's got no, no doubt or no fear. And that's when you're young, you, you don't have any fear. It's Rashford. It's the perfect start. Manchester United off and running and all they could have so shy. Lovely feet from Rashford. Rashford, lovely turn, clever feet, brilliant finish. A goal from a man right on top of his game. Sanchez, Marcus Rashford rolls Manchester United into a two goal lead. And they are on a roll. Linger, Pogba. It's a threatening ball to Rashford. Rashford fires it across Loris and into the net and sends Manchester United into the lead late in the first half. Well, it looks like mission impossible for Manchester United. Support and outsided by Shaw. He's got himself, spilled by Buffon. Oh, they've got another one. It comes down to Marcus Rashford against Jean Luigi Buffon. How's your bottle? think you've perhaps matured as a man? You've so, looked sharp. You've looked, I've watched yeah. all the games so far. You've looked really sharp. Do, do you feel a difference to last season in yourself? Um, when I started playing, I was 18 and I pretty much grew the summer mm -hmm. before. And I feel like this season it's like I'm doing little stuff that, that shows that it's becoming a bit more natural and a bit more easier. Um, Re-embraces its multi-million strong audience. What one wonders is the theatre entitled to dream this time. Now by the retreating Jorginho, referee has waved it on because Rashford is advancing. He's gone over, he's got a penalty. Rashford rockets Manchester United ahead. You don't keep those out. Here is Rashford. I think, as you feared, there was no, no Marcus today. Can you tell us a little bit about that? He's always recovered quickly before Marcus, and this time it takes longer, so... Does he need a break? Can you give him a break? And what is his best position? Well, at the, at the moment, we can't really give him a break because... 
Marcus Rashford, a man who has been right on top of his game over the last six, eight weeks or so. That's better. Great finish. Positive finish for Marcus Rashford, wasn't it? Davison Sanchez, who's a little flick, only finds Rashford. Not a start for Manchester United. Last season. Not make by Rashford against Manchester United going again. Was he brought down? Yes, he was. Big moment this against Paolo Gazaniga and Manchester United lead again. Marcus Rashford he's still wriggling. He's gone over on blue turf. Rashford rolls it in for the Reds. Territory of their neighbourly champions. That's a float of a beauty! And Marcus Rashford is there to meet it! Here comes Marcus Rashford. James Rashford! What an incredible turnaround by Manchester United! He's going the other way. James towards Rashford! There's nothing old Trafford loves more than that! Zaka away from Willems. Space for the cross. Good header. Oh, it's three. And Rashford's got in on the act as well. Marcus Rashford, oh glorious! That is a special one! For distance, power, accuracy and indeed significance!